Okay, today, Major, we're gonna to put together a salad incorporating coffee. It's a Caribbean shrimp salad with uh, tropical fruit, and the coffee's gonna go in the vinaigrette. Wonderful. So it's gonna be a lime-based vinaigrette with coconut milk, some habanero, a little bit of rich coffee to kind of pull the flavors down with this real you know, sweet dish. And which coffee did you choose? So I'm using the uh, Starbucks espresso roast. Cool, okay, great. And uh, the first thing I wanna do is poach the shrimp, because it's a cold salad, and we poach the shrimp for about three minutes in a uh, mixture of uh, water. We have bay leaves peppercorns, and this is kind of a classic flavor for making a court bouillon, for making a poaching liquid for fish. I'm gonna add some lime to it because there's lime in the vinaigrette. And about a half a cup of white wine. We'll bring that back up to a boil. And we're gonna poach the shrimp for about three minutes until they're just cooked. We don't wanna overcook them, we don't wanna make them chewy, and then we're gonna take them out and chill them right there. All right, so poaching is a simmering temperature. You don't want it to be boiling. Otherwise, you will uh, make a uh, tough shrimp. Okay, so while that's poaching, let's go into the ingredients for our salad. So we have the mango, we have the grapefruit, banana, there's a little bit of orange and lime, all these nice flavors that come together. It's a very tasty salad, and it's low fat, good for you. The first thing I want to do is a little demonstration on mango. Have you ever had to dice mango before? Yeah, I'm not good at that at all. Okay. So I like to uh, take a peeler and I'll peel half the mango. Here we go. And this is nice and ripe. What I want is a kind of a semi-ripe mango. I don't want it to be overripe and squishy. I want to be able to actually dice it. Okay. Can, I, can I just feel just so I can get a yeah. sense of what... Okay, so that's definitely a little bit harder than I would choose in the store. Right, so you don't want a green mango where it's kind of underripe, mm -hmm. you want a semi-ripe. And then from here, I'm gonna take off kind of the meat of the mango. That's we'll beautiful. come back to that, we'll yeah. use this. But just to show you a little demonstration on uh, dicing, we can take this, and then kind of I'm gonna slice it here as thick as I sliced it across. And then from there, it's all lined up. And there I have a nice diced mango. And you made that look really easy. I made it look easy, yes. yes. But with a uh, sharp knife and a little bit of uh, patience, you too can do this. Yes. Okay, so that's our mango. The other thing we want to use is a grapefruit. And kind of when I'm playing this salad on, what, what fruit do we have left in the house? Okay. All right, so you could do oranges. You could actually even use a lemon. What I want to do is make what's called supremes. These are little tiny wedges where we're just using the, the meat of the fruit. We don't want any of the membranes. Okay. We want to get rid of all of this white pith because that's bitter. So have you ever uh, had a jar of mandarin oranges? Mm -hmm. Somebody has to do this for that. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do after I give you a little demonstration is make the vinaigrette. And that's where we're gonna incorporate the coffee in the vinaigrette. Okay. What I'm looking for is the supreme. I'm looking for this perfect little wedge. Yeah. And what, I what I'm getting rid of is all the membrane to make it a little bit more of an elegant salad. Beautiful. You can do this with oranges, you can do it with lemons and limes, and this will also go into our salad. All right. Let's pull a shot of espresso. Great. We're gonna work on the vinaigrette. The vinaigrette is a uh, lime vinaigrette, and the coffee is kind of a, a play off the lime to kind of, like I said, pull the flavors down. Okay. So we're gonna have a little bit of oil. I wanna use a neutral oil, like a canola oil, or a grapeseed oil. Um, olive oil might be a little bit too strong. We want to kind of, uh, the oil is the fat that's going to play with the flavors and kind of pull it up. Okay. Coconut milk, we're going to have some habanero. And uh, when you work with habanero, I would suggest putting gloves on mm -hmm. because this will, uh, the pepper, caspium will stick to your fingers for a while. We're going to use some fresh mint and uh, the coffee. Let's uh, pull our shrimp. That's been about three minutes. We're going to pull our shrimp out. We have our uh, sweet shrimp and then we have our sweet fruit. And then we have our uh, tang or our acid from the lime okay. in the vinaigrette. What we're missing is a little bit of earthiness. So oh, the coffee okay. brings in that earthiness and kind of uh, rounds out all the flavors so you okay. have some earthiness in it. Let me uh, put this in the refrigerator. Okay, so our shots look nice, do yes, they? Yes, they look perfect. Okay. Nice crema. So the recipe we're looking for has two tablespoons in it. Okay. So let's, uh, whenever two tablespoons of coffee, and then what I've already done with all the ingredients in the recipe, I've already made a base vinaigrette without mm -hmm. the coffee. So this has our coconut milk, our lime juice, our lime zest, our mint. It has a great color. And now I'm just gonna kind of incorporate it into this. 
So in the end, when we taste this dish, the salad, yes. will you taste the coffee? You will taste it, but it won't be a, a forward flavor. Okay. You'll taste the sweet shrimp, you'll taste the lime, you'll taste the mango, and then this will kind of uh, carry through and kind of bring it down to an earthy. So it doesn't flatten off with just right. sweet and tang. Okay. You have a little bit of earthiness. Wow, fascinating. Okay, so we have our vinaigrette, we have our poached shrimp, and uh, we have a little bit of our fruit. The last thing I'm gonna do is just peel and slice the banana. This doesn't take too much of a demonstration. We've all done this. Yes. All right, that's gonna go into our salad. Okay, so Major, we have our components for this. We have our poached shrimp that we've chilled down. We've done a couple things. We've uh, diced them into chunks and we've actually skeered them, chilled with a little bit of lime. Uh, we have our fresh fruit that we've diced. We have our vinaigrette with our coffee, our coconut milk, our habanero, our mint, our cilantro, very flavorful. We still need to season it. And uh, we have some mint that I wanna use for garnish. I'm gonna show you a little technique called chiffonade. So with the chiffonade, we take our mint or any sort of leafy green mm -hmm. and you kind of bring it really closely and as thinly as possible you want to chiffonade. Wow. I would worry about my fingers doing that. Well you don't have to go as fast, a little slower. So okay, from there this is going to be our garnish, our dressing. So we have the mango, we have the grapefruit, banana, other fruit right here and it's best to uh, Season at the last second with your salt okay. because salt draws out moisture and you don't want a real uh, soggy salad. So we're going to do a little bit of vinaigrette to coat. We're going to season with our kosher salt. We are going to balance with a little bit of sugar. And if you wanted to use honey in place of the sugar, it's just fine. And I have some toasted coconut. It goes well with the Caribbean okay. concept and it's gonna add some texture. And then I have some toasted chopped cashews. Peanuts would also work. Okay. Add a little bit of lime zest to balance out, or lime juice. And I was thinking of the lime zest to All add right. some lime zest. There is lime zest in the dressing. We will do a little bit of lime zest. So we're looking good with our salad. Now we want to plate it. And this is something that can be done ahead of time. Mm -hmm. um, after about an hour, is kind of time you want to be serving it. So okay. let it sit around for 10 or 15 minutes and you get a little bit better flavor. Yep. So you see the coffee didn't overpower the color, but it's Not there. We know we have coffee. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is add some of this diced shrimp to it. And this is completely cooked, poached and chilled. It's really beautiful. Yes, I like the colors. We'll garnish it with our shrimp skewers. We'll do a little bit of a mint chiffonade on top. I think what I want to do is a touch more of this dressing onto our shrimp. And then since we have some heat in there in the form of the habanero, I'm going to garnish with a little bit of cayenne. It's going to give it a little bit of visual and a little bit of a last minute heat. Okay, I think we're ready to taste uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to give you the honors. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Wow, it tastes wonderful. It's really complex. There's a lot of things going on. It is. The coffee flavor kind of comes around and dies off, but it's still there. Lingers with that, uh, the grapefruit tartness. Mm -hmm. Excellent entree salad. Yeah, some wonderful flavors. Thanks. Thank you.